Welcome to uh, beautiful Port Townsend on the Olympic Peninsula in the state of Washington. Today we will tour this Victorian town out and, out and about with GNB and Edit Day. But first, half the fun is getting there as Roberta and I drive past quaint towns and stop at Humma Humma Oyster Bar in Hood Canal. Make sure to like and subscribe too. Hoodsport on the peninsula of the state of Washington. All these towns that we're going to be seeing as just little white spots in the road type of thing, huh? Pretty much. I think uh, Lake Cushman from here. Right. Which we've done before. Right. The staircase. Uh, As we leave Hoodsport, Washington, we continue driving the famous 101 highway that stretches over 1,500 miles from Los Angeles, California, through Oregon, and up along the Washington coast, and up and over Olympic National Park. On the Hood Canal here, this is Hama Hama uh, Oyster <laughs> something. Hama, Hama, Oyster, Hama, Hama. No, yeah, Oyster Bar. But yeah, they got these little. Uh, I don't know if you sh shuck your oyster, own oysters or not. They're we're pretty early, so they're closed. It's, maybe it looks like a weekend thing here. I guess uh, look at all these. Yeah. Places, I mean, but it's like a little oyster bar, so they, they serve. Uh, Certainly your drinks, alcohol. And I wonder if you, once you're done with your, uh, you know, your oysters in a half shell, yeah. uh, your oysters Rockefeller, um, I wonder if they throw them in there just for fun. Well, I suppose. It's a Hama Hama Oyster Saloon. So I think it must, they must uh, do a little... Thing. I mean, well, we sure have enough tables to or a weekend thing, you know. That's have a the, big hoot now. Yeah, they got a lot of uh, outhouses, so it must be a a weekend thing. Yeah. And I think there are you probably they shuck the oysters here, or you know, process them here as well. So interesting. So we'll go through here. So apparently, you can get your uh, oysters on the shell. And uh, get sure I get a beer or something, and then we got the Hoodsport here. It says at low tide, stay on the shore. Do not walk on the spit or pass rope. Please don't walk on our oysters. So yeah, they do uh, harvest uh, oysters here, and uh, so on low tide, you're not supposed to go past that rope there. And we've seen a blue heron down the road. So I'll probably get a lot of those type of uh, fowl. <laughs> but yeah, so this is where they harvest oysters here. The whole hill right there is all oyster shells. Yeah, we'll check that out a little here shortly, but you can see a hill of oysters. Yeah, kind of a Nice little uh, leg stretchers. Would have been nice if they were open. To, they have a little gift shop there, I think, too. And not that we, not that we would get any oysters or not, but uh, it'd be kind of fun to see other people uh, slurping slurping them down. I don't know. So gross. It's like, ooh, open the shell. There's a pile of snot. Yeah. Nicely and said. Uh, um, I bet you the Fourth of July just this last week uh, probably was a. Uh, Good times out here. Yeah, pretty sure. Because they've got fresh flowers on all the tables still. Oh, so. oh, is that fresh, is it? I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay, some cocktail sauce over there, too. All right, then. Well, we're heading on here. 
we're on uh, Hood's Canal. Um, on the east side of Hood's Canal. Going up towards uh, the Victorian town of uh, Port Townsend here in the state of Washington. And this is uh, certainly an area of uh, oyster harvesting uh, along the canal. And you can see the mounds of oyster shells. And this area where the at least the uh, maybe a restaurant or I don't know what you want to call it, but it's called Hama Hama in that oyster bar, I think. And uh, I think they must draw quite the crowds because there's a lot of A frames here with picnic tables underneath it, and um, there's a little bar set up there for beers and ales and so forth. Of course, the big attraction would be the uh, oysters. I mean, probably shuck them right there and slurp them down. So that's the uh, Hood Canal right there. And those are those A-frames I was uh, talking about. Right off of Highway 101. So you'd have to, Hama Hama is what it's, uh, what it's called. So you'd... Uh, Look that up to see when they uh, are actually doing business. Again, pretty, pretty cool. So we'll see quite a few of these probably in the next 20, 30 miles. I'm just uh, standing on top of a uh, oyster shell mound. You can see the uh, all these oyster shells. Some oyster cages over here. I'm not sure how they actually harvest. Uh, must they get them somehow in the I don't know. We'll have to find that out. And whatever that contraption is, I'm not sure. Huh. Interesting. I'm uh, full of all sorts of uh, information there, aren't I? Okay, so I have to now navigate, negotiate the, these uh, oyster hill on the way back down. Alright, and there's Bert waiting for me. So, hey, there's activity over there. Neither Bert and I love oysters. I don't mind uh, slurping one down with cocktail sauce and lemon. That's okay. All right, shall we continue? I think so. We continue making our way up Highway 101 along Hood Canal. So beautiful. We'll make your way across the Ducka Bush River. into the Olympic National Forest, Willisine, Washington, and into Port Townsend of the Victorian Homes and Town. It's Port Townsend, Washington. We just arrived here. And you can see some old Victorian town and some great Victorian mansions on the hill. Uh, Fort Warden State Park is here where uh, Richard Gere and Deborah Winger, Officer and Gentleman, was filmed. And then you see the famous uh, Washington State ferries uh, that go all over Puget Sound, coming in here to Port Towns, and this came from uh, Whidbey Island, which is also there. We usually go just about once a, uh, once a year to Whidbey Island, and uh, it's going to be docking over here and picking up some passengers, dropping some off cars, etc, etc. Pretty cool. In the old uh, 1889 building from here in Port Townsend. In the really cool Victorian town. And older buildings that uh, this is the James Hastings building. And as it goes down the uh, Water Street here in the Port Townsend. You'll see more of the older buildings. And some of them have been renovated. Always uh, cool ceilings in these older buildings, circa late uh, 1800s. Uh, tea and spice shop. 
here in Port Townsend. Always kind of kind of fun, isn't it? I know. It's a lovely little gift. Yeah. Ooh. Here's a quaint little shop. It's an olive oil shop. Oh, yummers. Boy, Greg and I enjoy um, olive oil and balsamic vinegar and get a baguette bread and tear it up and dip it into the olive oil and balsamic vinegar and a glass of wine. It's, oh, these are neat. Lovely shop. And then you have a tasting of all their olive oils, different um, types and from different regions of the world. And uh, some of them are pretty bitter. Some of them are, ooh, yummers. But uh, this is really interesting. I like it. Ooh. Look at the different types. All the balsamic vinegar. I love balsamic vinegar. Mm. It's the only time I like bread <laughs> is when I have olive oil and balsamic vinegar to dip a, a good crisp um, balsamic, I mean a baguette bread into. Mmm. Truffle oils. I like it. Here's a cute and quaint little soda, fountain, ice cream and hamburgers. Oh my, sure brings back the old nostalgic feeling of yesteryear. I love it. And I love this. Yeah, awesome. Hello. Yeah, let's go outside. This is a, a historic city hall, which is now the Jefferson Museum of Art and History. Uh, from 1892 and it used to have spires on it I don't know what happened there and then they've restored it and uh, just uh, again a historic area here
beautiful port towns in Washington. You can see all the Victorian era buildings. We'll see the Victorian houses. Um, maybe we'll go to Fort Warden where an officer and a gentleman was filmed with uh, Richard Gere and uh, Deborah Winger. Yeah. Remember that one? Yeah, I do. And uh, of course, tour of the Victorian homes as well. So I'll say, uh, again, in Port Townsend up here, uh, another one of the historic buildings. Now we're up on the uh, hill above uh, the waterfront. We get a little view of the people that live with a nice view in Port Townsend. Some of the old early 1900s, late 1800s. Ooh, that's an old Victorian style. That's nice. Mm -hmm. trees everywhere along with those houses. 1900. Mm -hmm. Also inside there, the wood and the staircasing and everything. Uh, so unique. That's a neat, is an old, just a kind of a bell tower. Mm -hmm. I guess you'd call that a bell tower, honey. Sure, it's a bell tower tower. And I'd say this is a nice view. Mm hmm. down there. In fact, I remember taking that picture of a church before. I like that place. I like big porches that go all the way around the house. Yeah. yeah. Deer. Where? Right there. Oh, hi, dear. Hello. Do you, have you lived in Port Townsend long? <laughs> ah. You know, you just make yourself at home there. Walk and you'll see another <laughs> I've heard of them. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, how cute. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Another thing, too, is uh, corner homes are always appealing. You know, everybody wants to have a corner home. That's an awesome home. Grab a, I forgot what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Branch is about ready to come into the car. Sure. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, nice. Mm-hmm. Like all those type of plants. Yes, indeed. You can almost see the people, yeah. how they dressed, and the women with their big hats and long dresses and. I don't know. Such a neat era, late 1800s. Well, hello, beautiful. Aren't they just, <laughs> look at their coat. They're still kind of soft and pillowy looking. Hello. And a little baby girl. Hi, little one. Hi. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this day. It's nice and cool out. Aren't you beautiful? They're very healthy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye-bye now. That's a nice old one, too. Hello. Well, we're uptown. Um, again, acquaintance. 
quaint type of area for Port Townsend. A little different than the waterfront. Baptist Church. Wow, library, old library. Fort Warden here in the just outside of Port Townsend. And you can tell me maybe a little bit more about it, honey. Well, this is where the uh, an officer and a gentleman was uh, filmed. Well, that's for sure. With uh, Richard Gear mm -hmm. and uh, Deborah Winger. Yeah. I made mean, uh, both of them famous there. So this is a, we can actually yeah. still stay here. This is um, just built to protect this whole um, peninsula area. Oh, swing here and see this whole beach. area for the fort? There's some deer over there. Officers uh, housing over here. Mm -hmm. Big grounds right out there. They would do their military procedures as far as marching and such. Isn't that awesome? And if you had right, some right. rank, you'd be staying here with your families. I like that. It's just a nice light area for deer, isn't it? Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's just a, it's a nice day. It's cool and they're enjoying it. Hi. Are you enjoying your day? Well, we're enjoying looking at you, I tell you what. You're very beautiful. Huh. We're at, uh, still at Fort Warden in this Point Wilson uh, lighthouse area here. And just uh, look out into the uh, Puget Sound here, I think. <laughs> Or the Straits of Juan de Fuca, I'm not sure. Or both, maybe. I don't know. And I'm not sure if we're if all that was Washington or some of that's Canada over there. I'm not quite sure here. We'll we get a little bit closer to the, to the lighthouse here in a second. That was the, uh, the quarters there for those that uh, lived there. Pretty cool. Enjoyed our day at uh, so far going up the Hoods Canal on the east side. Uh, some little towns all the way up. Then of course Port Townsend. Now we're at Fort Warden in Port Townsend. And we'll be heading to Squim here shortly. And you can see the, the lighthouse. And originally this house here from uh, December 15th, 1879, had the light on top of the house. And then, the, yeah, and then they built the uh, actual lighthouse in 1913, the year my dad was born. Yeah. Which makes me pretty old now, I guess, huh? <laughs> you can see the light up there. Sweet little church here at the fort. I guess there's a wedding going on. Oh. Hello. We're at the uh, Sunshine Herb and Lavender Farm just outside of Squim, Washington here. And boy, is it beautiful. This is uh, right in the middle of uh, lavender season. And um, a lot of lavender farms here in uh, the Squim area. I think it's even considered the uh, lavender uh, capital of the United States. And you can see this one is uh, off the highway here and uh, just beautiful. And I guess I didn't know lavender had different uh, 
shades rather than just the lavender color, but there's some white right there. Lots of bumblers, bees in the area here. But some beautiful grounds. And, uh, yeah. So we're going to go inside and uh, check it out. See if they have some lavender ice cream, maybe. All right. Well, here we are in Squim, Squim, Washington. And we're at Salty Girls having a yummy dinner. Award-winning uh, chowder, they said. That's what she said. All right. Mm. Oh. You have to get that pepper off the <laughs> And then we have a, um, what's this again? This is pretty uh, yummy looking. Tuna, tuna melt. Oh, yeah. No, crab melt. Crab melt. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. That looks so good. Well, enjoy, honey. Sure. John Wayne Marina here in uh, Squim, Washington. It's a lot of boats out there, isn't there? I think it's named after John Wayne because he used to come up to this area in the San Juan Islands here in Washington and uh, sail his boat. I don't know if he had a captain or not, or if he was the captain. But that's the uh, story, and I'm sticking to it. But yeah, beautiful evening. It's a little cool out, probably uh, low 60s right now. Yeah, pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we see a sea lion or something, I don't know. Look at those nice little posies there with the, you know, the uh, boats reflecting there. Look at that little, I don't know what, wow, that's like a, what would you call that? Some sort of uh, great kayak there, I don't know. Pretty cool. So the Purple Haze uh, Lavender Field here in, uh, or Lavender Farm in uh, Squim. And they're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, and it is Monday. It's uh, beautiful still. You can see that middle row is uh, in full bloom. They have their festival coming up on the 21st. Got some uh, weeping willows over here. Pretty nice, huh? And then, uh, besides these up here, you got it up on the hill. You got bunches of them there. I don't know if that's the same. It's a private road up there. If that's a part of a purple haze or not. I don't know if we can see that or not. Well, we're at the uh, top of the Holiday Inn Express, and it is the only Holiday Inn Express in the world that has a rooftop patio. Look at there, they actually have uh, some growth here on the uh, fourth floor of the Holiday Inn. And that's pretty cool. And it is pretty cool. It's uh, July 10th and it's uh, probably uh, all of 60 degrees right now. Maybe a little bit more. Bert and I are going to move up here. See all those ramblers? It's the uh, sunshine capital of Washington State or something like that. Or the least uh, amount of rainy days or Cloudy days or something like that. Sunshiny days. It has the most of those, yeah. Yeah. It's my favorite over there, hydrangeas. And the uh, world famous uh, Highway 101 up there. Just still waiting for some elk to come up here. Next up, join Bert and I as we continue our Olympic Peninsula trip. We'll take a healthy walk through the beautiful forest to view the Dungeness Spit. We'll hike Soul Duck Falls, Trailhead, and then yet another hike at Po Rainforest and wrap up our day at Ruby Beach on the next Out and About with GNB Unedited.